Auschwitz, the Nazi death camp where more than a million people, mainly Jews, were murdered. People with families and friends. Ordinary people robbed of their future. Each had their own unique story of how they came to be at Auschwitz. Only a minority survived. And today, decades later, very few can explain what happened there. As witnessed, it's human terror. Kitty Hart Marksen was 17 years old when she arrived at Auschwitz-Birkenau in April 1943. Now she travels back one last time to answer the questions of a new generation. My name is Kitty Hart Moxen, and I'm a Holocaust survivor. Designed as a factory of death, no one was intended to survive, let alone describe its inhumanity to a world not yet ready to listen. No one wanted to know, no one wanted to hear what I had to say. But I made a commitment that uh, the people don't want to hear, but I'm going to make sure that they will. I've been here many times, but I really wanted to come with two girls who were my age when I was here. I want to show them the struggle for survival. What were your first impressions of the camp? There was just the most incredible mud. And then we saw a, like a glow in the distance. And soon when we got there, we saw ghost-like figures with shaved heads staggering in tattered clothes with great big eyes screaming in all languages and being beaten. And we thought, my God, is this what's going to happen to us? I've known Kitty since I was born. I've known about her story since I was little and sort of grown up with the influence of it. What did you first see when you got off the train? Alsatian dogs. They were barking, trying to get at us. And I wanted to try and understand a bit better how she coped in these conditions and how she managed to survive for so long. And we're walking into the women's camp now. I met Kitty for the first time after the school talk she gave us, and I went up and asked some questions to her. And I'm just kind of nervous and excited because I want to see it from a different perspective that I may have seen it in class. And you see these stuff. ここで地震に関する情報をお伝えします。緊急地震。先ほど地震がありました。津波警報が出ました。津波警報が出ました。津波警報が出ました。NHKでは津波警報についての緊急ニュースを英語を中心に中国語、韓国、朝鮮語、ポルトガル語でお伝えします。This is an emergency tsunami warning. This is an emergency tsunami warning. NHK is broadcasting this information in English, as well as in Chinese, Korean, and Portuguese. 气象厅发布了海啸警报。气象厅发布了海啸警报。关于海啸警报的紧急新闻，NHK将以英语为主，同时也用中文进行报道。黑日警报が発令됐습니다。este é um alerta de emergência contra tsunamis. Este é um alerta de emergência contra tsunamis. A NHK está transmitindo esta informação em inglês e português. The Meteorological Agency has issued a tsunami warning for the following areas. The waves in some of the areas mentioned. Everyone near the coast must immediately evacuate to higher ground. The 
，沿岸附近的人，请到地势较高的地方避难。기상청은다음지역에쓰나미경보를발령했습니다이상의지역에서는분파도가밀려올가능성이있습니다해안부근에있는분들은즉시높은지대로대피하십시오아젠시아지메테오로지아에미치온알렐타콘트라쓰나미스파라시긴치자리에스아존다스포딩알칸사라테트레스메트로지아우토라인알구마스다자리에스맨시오나다스 Todas as pessoas próximas da costa devem buscar abrigo em locais mais altos imediatamente. The Meteorological Agency has issued a tsunami warning for the following areas. The waves in some of the areas mentioned. Everyone near the coast must immediately evacuate to higher ground. 气象厅发布海啸警报的地区如下：有的地方可能会出现所有的海浪。沿岸附近的人，请到地势较高的地方避难。기상청은다음지역에쓰나미경보를발령했습니다이상의지역에서는분파도가밀려올가능성이있습니다해안부근에있는분들은즉시높은지대로